Hi there, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to evaluate functions. So, it stands to reason we need a function. Here it is. f of x equals 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now we're going to concentrate on what x is here. First we're going to write down the f and the numbers. But notice that I'm saving the x's for last because what a function really is, is a series of holes, if you will. It's a series of empty parentheses. And whatever goes in the F parentheses will automatically go in the uh, parentheses that are left on the other side of the equation. Those empty ones in the red parentheses. So I'm going to make a couple of empty functions here so that we can fill them. And use red parentheses to emphasize that functions are full of holes waiting to be filled. So for instance, suppose we put a green 2 in one set of parentheses. Then what we do is calculate the answer which is 17. Now suppose we put a negative 1 in F's parentheses. You put a negative 1 in the empty parentheses, and then you calculate the answer. Oh, let's do it again. This is so much fun. Because we're not limited to positive or negative numbers here or even to decimals, or even to, oh, I don't know, square roots or something like that. We can put anything in the parentheses we want. If I put a P in the first set of parentheses, automatically I'll put P's in the others, other parentheses, and then I'll calculate the result. The result being, that the letter used in the function has changed. Let's go on, because we're not even limited to letters. Here's our function again. Remember, the x's are just empty holes waiting to be filled. So we're going to write it that way again with red empty parentheses that we're going to fill. This time we're going to fill them with an expression. x plus 1. So x plus 1 is going to go in each set of red parentheses. And then we calculate our answer. Now, x plus 1 is a binomial, so we're going to have to FOIL it. And here I'm going to distribute the 2 into the x plus 1, which gives me 2x plus 2, and then we add the 1 on the end. We'll go ahead and FOIL the x plus 1 times x plus 1 before you multiply in the 3. Meanwhile, I'm going to combine the two common terms 
2 and, uh, and, and 1, which is 3. Right, I'm distributing the 3 into the x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then I'm going to add all the like terms together, or I should say combine the like terms. In this case, that happens to be adding. And there's my answer. f of x plus 1 equals 3x squared plus 8x plus 6. That's how you evaluate a function.